I was 19 when I met you. I was a student at RISD. It was sophomore year, first semester. I was in the painting department and I was miserable. But then in your class, I got to do ink wash. I was like, oh my gosh, drawing is fun again. Right, it was 1995 in the fall. And it was my first year full-time at RISD and I was teaching that class for the very first time. And I'm 46 now, mm -hmm. which means we've known each other for 27 years. That's right. And you have watched all the good, bad, and ugly <laughs> in terms of my growth as an artist. You've stuck by me this whole time. Well, I remember you took a painting class I taught in winter session, and then you took my litho class. So we always had these kinds of points of contact as you were working on your art, yeah, as you were working on your own portfolio for grad school and deciding where to go, following you as you developed certain bodies of work. You know, amazing to see what you've been doing with art prof. What was I like as a student? Very likely to complain. <laughs> really? One thing that really interested me about you was that you were in an orchestra. Mm -hmm. Like you had another life beyond art and RISD social life. Yeah, I played in the Brown Orchestra for three years. Yeah, that really impressed me a lot. You were the kind of student who I really enjoy, who is a student who doesn't necessarily always accept everything you say or face value. <laughs> Which uh, got me in trouble but applies, a lot. <laughs> um, some sort of critical thinking to things. So I've never really enjoyed teaching docile students you know, who just say yes. I've always liked students who answer back a little bit, and I really felt that with you, but I also always felt like we had an open line of communication, you know, that you trusted me and we could talk about things. We have the exact same sense of humor. <laughs> We're both very dry and cynical. There's so many students who go to art school and they say, well, this professor's so annoying, and I didn't like this prompt. And the thing is, when you go to art school, there's probably going to be, for every teacher you love to death, somebody who drives you crazy. You just have to find one mentor that will be there for you. Remember the time that I was bullied by those three senior faculty? Right. I was like bawling my eyes out after that. And I remember I called you saying, do I just have to take this? That kind of thing is so antithetical to what I believe in, that a teacher is going to sort of force some sort of authority. It's very hard in our moment in time to even have this one thing that's the right way to do it. I also am very aware that I'm a little bit out there as an artist and a person. You know, I'm not doing what very many other people are doing, and so I have to leave room for that for other people too. Do you feel like the way you taught then is that different than how you teach now? There is change that's happened because of cultural change and students changing. But I do think there's still interest in the content. And that's the most important part of teaching to me is, is the actual subject matter of the class. Sometimes my content must seem obscure to people. They, the students really still enjoy it or take it on or give it a try. Do you mean because it's so deeply rooted in history? Deeply rooted in history in the old masters, deeply rooted in making things by hand. I do think I subliminally po impose a certain level of taste <laughs> to my students. <laughs> and What's wrong with that? There's certain things that they won't do in my class that they might do in other classes just because they, they've seen that slight change of expression on my face. <laughs> you know, so I, I can't do it on command. Otherwise, I would be a great Irish character actor. Right. But those faces, I think, <laughs> say it all sometimes. Even when I think about when I first started teaching at RISD in 2007, the student population was very different. And so what's visibly different about the way students are today versus in previous years? I think students in the 90s were probably a little bit more cynical and a little more given over to irony. <laughs> I've really been impressed by how a large part of my current students really have embraced a very sincere view of art, understanding of what they're supposed to give back to the world. I think a lot of them are grappling with the big thing that they're supposed to do, and I, I don't think we did that so much in the 90s. There are certain cultural things that have happened that are reflected in what students want to do and, and within their work, too. You really, and the rabbit. Look at how small it is. It wrecks havoc. Well, the, the small ones are really dumb, and so they'll just bite things off at the base, and then they'll decide they don't like it. You don't like them. I don't want them eating my stuff, but I don't want to be the kind of person who gets mad at baby rabbits. <laughs>